Okay, so in this question, we're going to try and solve this linear congruence for x. And we've got a quadratic, so we've got 2x squared plus 7x plus 4 is congruent with 0 modular 19. Now, normally solving these quadratic congruences, we find the square, in which case we're going to end up with a half somewhere here, because we end up with 7 over 2. Because when we take the factor of the 2 out, we're going to divide this by 2, so we'll have a 7 over 2, and that's not going to help us at all. So what we want to do, first of all, is to get this 7x into an even number. Now, the best way to do that is to add or subtract 19 to try and get that into an even number. So if we add 19, that'll be 26, that's fine. But if we subtract 19, we'll get minus 12. So I think as 12 is a smaller number, it looks like it's going to be easier to deal with, we'll make it into minus 12. So now I'm going to rewrite it, 2x squared plus, sorry, minus 12x plus 4 is congruent with 0, mod 19. And as we're working in modular form, we haven't changed any of this as in the modulus. So it's still going to be modulus to 0, modulus 19. So I can grow it to 0, modulus 19. OK, so now we'll just go old school way and try and find the square of this term here. So we factor out the 2 first. So that gives us x squared minus 6x plus 4 and group of 0, all mod 19. Now we'll isolate this, take the square inside, just as we normally do. Now I'm going to be careful here with the brackets. So half this, so that'll be x minus 3 squared. And now we need to subtract a 9. Obviously we're going to increase this value by plus 9. So now we'll subtract a 9 and then put the brackets round and add 4. Congruent with 0, mod 19. Okay, so that's great. So now we're well on the way now to try to find the solution to this. Next thing we want to do is to try and get this 2 and minus 9 sorted out. So what we can, we can do is, we can take this 2 and minus 9 and just write that as 2 times x minus 3 squared minus 9. So let's just write that in there now. So 2 x minus 3 squared and now if we subtract 18 plus 4 and stay congruent to 0, mod 19, we haven't affected anything here at all just yet. OK, so now we can simplify this and just put that in as a minus 14. So we don't need to write a whole new line out. We can just see that straight away. That can now become minus 14. OK, little problem here with this 2. So what we can do is let's start by getting this 14 on the other side. And in modulus, we can do that. That's not a problem. So now we've got 2 x minus 3 squared, take this minus 14 over there, so now we'll end up with a plus 14, and that's modulo 19. Okay, now what we're going to do, we can divide everything by 2, and then we can get this x minus 3 squared on its own, and take the square root. That's the target, that's what we're aiming for. So now we end up with x minus 3 squared is congruent with 7 mod 19. OK, so taking the square root on this side, that's fine. Take the square root on this side, we're going to have some problems because we're going to be square root of 7, which is not a good number for modulus. So now we need to find a number for 7 that is still congruent with uh, a number with, that's congruent with 7 modulo 19. So now what we can do is we can find multiples of 19 and add 7 and see what happens with the square number. So we keep adding 19 to 7, so 7, 26, 45, 64. Now I would say this method is fine because modulo 19 it's not going to take too long before you test all the uh, opportunities to see if there's a square. So we can see here we've got a square, we've got 64, that's great. 
So now we're just going to change that 7 for 64. We've not changed anything here. We're still congruent to uh, 64 mod 19. We're still congruent to 7 mod 19. Okay, so all we're going to do now is take the square root on both sides. So if I just put that on there and that there, we know this is going to be a whole number now. And we're going to be left with x minus 3. So x minus 3 is congruent. Now this bit we've got to be careful. This is where we go to plus or minus 8. And this is where, when we're doing quadratics, usually got two solutions. So here we go. This is where we make sure we've got our two solutions. And now I'll just put rather mod 19. So now all we've got to do now is get the x on its own. So send the 3 over the other side. So now we're going to split this into two show our two solutions so now first one is x is congruent with so plus 8 minus 3 and if the minus 3 comes the other side we'll end up with plus 3 and if the other one is x is congruent with minus 8 and then plus 3 now it's plus 3 because obviously we're going to take this to the other side so it becomes a plus so now which is congruent with 11 mod 19 and this is congruent with minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5 so we don't really want to put x is minus 5 as a solution it is valid but what we want to do now is make that as a uh, an integer that's less than 19 so now that will then be congruent with 14 modulo 19 so what we say is now that x equals 11 plus 19k where k is an integer and we can also say that x is also 14 plus 19k where x is also an integer and that will be our solution to this quadratic congruence and if you've got time, we could just plug that in just to check our answers. So for x equals 11, 11 squared is 121 times by 2. 7 11 is 77 plus 4. So 2 times 121 is 242. And then 77 and 4 is 81. So that equals 323. So we're dealing in modulo 19. So how many 19s do we get into this? Well, hopefully we get a whole number. Well, we know that it's going to end up in a 7 because multilating by 9 to get a 3 at the end, a 7 is going to be a good way to find that. So 17 times 19 equals 323. So therefore x is 11 is a good solution. Let's test out the 14. So it's right here, x equals 14. So 2 times 14 squared. 14 squared is 196. Plus 7 14s is 98. And plus 4. Okay, 2 times 196, 382. So 392. Plus 102, which equals 494 and hopefully we get a multiple of 19 in there so what's going to end in four is going to be something with six so we're hoping that's going to be 26 times 19 let's just work that out 20 times 19 is 380 that gives us 380 and six 19s 619, 606, 69, so 54, that's 114. And we can see we add those together. We get x is 14, is a good solution. And again, if we added 19 on there, so x is 30 would be a good solution. So we could also say 30, 49, plug those in, you get the same answer. Same in here, plug in 33 or 52 and so on, you still get the right answer. Okay.